after eight months, eight long months out of the spotlight, we finally made the papers again. Page 18. Now, I would have thought we'd get a bit more notoriety for this one, but you know, what are you gonna do? Well, you insist on blowing up a fireworks shop on bonfire night. I told you that might make it less noticeable. Yeah, well, it was pretty though, right? Jane? It was pretty though, right? Right. Two people were inside, they got third degree burns. Oh, fuck. Shit. Wait, only third degree? Maybe that's why we're only page 18. Okay, okay, right, I'm joking. Fucking hell. Um... I thought we were smart enough to avoid controversy like this. What happened? Well, we are serial arsonists after all, you know. <laughs> can't expect there to be no consequences from our actions. Serial arsonists who in three years have never had an incident like this happen. No one's ever got hurt like this. Not to our knowledge. Whenever Rhett and I have an argument, we always make sure to take some time to sit down and write a love letter for each other to remind us of what we have, because all we really have is each other, and we wouldn't want to lose that for the world. Then we go somewhere nice and romantic and we read them to each other. That is true love. No time to wallow in the mire China we can only lose And our love become a funeral pyre Come on baby, light my fire Come on baby, light my fire Try to set the night on fire Oh, hello. Yeah. Hello. John, what have you written? Hit me. Okay. No, I know I fucked up. Granted. So I'm gonna make it up to you. <coughs> Jane, mm. you're not a bitch. Or even a witch. Although you may act like it sometimes. To me, you are a beautiful flower blossom. <laughs> and that is... Oh, awesome? Yeah, awesome. It's not your worst. No. Might be the best Might so be. far. But I don't think you had to make every line rhyme to get your point across. <laughs> I forgive you, it's fine. Just don't fuck up again. <laughs> well, no Shakespeare. But, uh, sure I can make up in other ways. <laughs> to a degree, I loved him. This factory was the first job Brett and I pulled together. They had just declared foreclosure, so nobody would be working there anymore. So why not? This jigsaw was my grandma's. It reminds Rhett of his own family life. The distant green fields that seem impossible to get to. Flowered cottage windows, black like a prison cell. Though I think he relates most to the hens, ready to be sicked on by the dog and used as a tool by his parents, slowly dwindling one by one. 
He misses his brothers, I know that much. In reality, the real cottage, there's nothing left but burnt wood and ashy dreams. All just a distant memory. I can't find my head. Huh? The dog's head. I can't find it. Right, I've been thinking. When aren't you thinking? For our next stunt, maybe we should torch that abandoned building by the telephone factory. So you want to go from uh, a firework shop on bonfire night to a factory in the middle of nowhere? There's less chance of someone getting hurt this time. But I just don't understand why you want to take steps back with our craft when we're doing so well. I mean, it's something a little off to the side. It could be super enjoyable. And again, no one will get hurt. OK, but could we do it with bombs, though? Are you even listening to me? Absolutely not. The debris could be fatal. You really do have to take the fun of it, don't you? Fucking stupid puzzle! Oh, fucking stupid puzzle! They all say oh. about oh. you. That was my grandma's. It was a nice picture. We'll burn that wire house down next week. Get the same kit. Okay. way.
Let's go. Come on, let's go. Whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. Watch. Watch it. What do you mean? Watch it. Whenever Rhett and I have an argument, we always make sure to take some time to sit down and write a love letter for each other, to remind us of what we have, because all we really have is each other, and we wouldn't want to lose that for the world. I'm in the business of living, yeah that's something I'd say. Don't you?